for whatever. All right, everybody. Welcome to another ep fine episode of Happy Hour Knife Chat. I'm Jerry with Big J's Knives. What's going on, guys? Kevin with Boston Blade Reviews. George Adventure here. All on? right, guys. As you guys know, that uh, since Kevin and I started this, I mean, Georgia has been a, just a proud supporter of ours from day one. And he's been on here a few times already, but, you know, uh, we were needing a guest for today. And, you know, we, we realize it's Easter Sunday, but, you know, I don't really have much going on on holidays. And uh, Kevin was going to have some free time, so we decided to go ahead and do one. And uh, old Randy obliged that he was going to do the Easter egg hunt earlier in the morning. And uh, he's got that out of the way. And I told him, yeah. you know, we could show some Saudis because I know Randy's just got some bang up Saudi knives over there. Okay. I know Kevin does too now because he made some slick trades. But uh, Georgia, you tell us a little bit about what's been going on there. And, uh, you know, we got your banner up here for your Etsy shop. So be sure you go check out his Etsy page as well because a lot of great items over there. And uh, someone's going to get some great items of yours tonight, as a matter of fact. So what's been going on, brother? Well, just. Well, just been been working and uh, turned in my retirement notice, so uh, I'm not going to contract anymore. I'm going to do the EDC leather works full time, and I think my grandbabies are going to be over here a couple of days a week. And I'm just going to do what I want to do. Miss Linda's happy; she's been threatening me, so she's <laughs> wanting me to she's wanting me to retire. You know, the the thing that people don't understand is when you drive to Atlanta and you work in Atlanta. And I'm not block knocking Atlanta, but when you drive to Atlanta, I mean, it's just, I've worked there for 41 years and it's just not a good place to work. And it's just, you know, it's gotten a lot worse. So I'm, I'm tired of that and love the profession I'm doing, but I'm just tired of, you know, the, the, the being down there, to be honest with you. I feel like I got to keep my running shoes on the whole time. So it's just not a good place. <laughs> it's not. So, anyway, just doing that and collecting some knives and me and Miss Miss Linda hanging out. We did some antiquing. When was that? Last last Saturday, we did some antiquing, and I've got three of them right here I bought. And uh, yeah, we we did that. We're just hanging out and enjoying our place here and planting and gonna be planting a garden in a couple of weeks. So, looking forward to that. Yeah, things blooming yeah. beautiful. Went turkey hunting yesterday morning. No luck, but. Or some gobble. That's kind of too early for them, anyways. They they fly down and stay with the hens. So yeah, it's still nice just to get out there. Oh, it, that's what I tell my brother. I don't care. If, I don't care if I kill one, just as long as I can. I do. But but it's 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 enjoyable just to be out there. Yeah, absolutely. In the spring, so really is. So yeah, yesterday I hit the trails because I I had a little bit of free time and uh, that kind of got in the way of things too. But I wasn't able to make enough videos and uh, but oh well, it is what it is. I went and hit the trails for a little bit. Took the dog. Sarah went with with me and you know I said, hey, I can take the dog and we can go hit the trails. And then uh, the dog getting mm -hmm. up, man, she had to go with us. So um, yeah, we had a good time though. The dog wasn't allowed to go at all last summer. So it was nice to get the dog out cause it had ACL surgery. So mm. I even put some pictures up on your, uh, the new Facebook page, the knife brotherhood that you created, man. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? I got guys yeah. I work with and jumped on there and y'all jumped five years ago and he was on there showing his case knife. I'm like, man, this is, this is cool. But yeah, we, uh, I gotta say, Georgia, that's that that whole that whole knife brotherhood, man, that you created, man. That's just fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. That sticker, the the whole the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. There you go right there. You there. Go. Hey, what do y'all think about the new ones? It, don't awesome. they look better? Yeah, I think like they look them. better than the old ones. Yeah, you still got some of the old ones left. I, I two. Have one. two. I got okay. two left. I okay. gave them all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got people. I've got one over here in the envelope. I'm sending the guy. He he wanted one, so those, those seem like those are going over better. They're just better looking to me. You did a great job on both, but the new one is really spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's cool. Pretty cool. And um, the guy that you put us in touch with, RDS Woodworking and Acrylics. Yeah. He made some Knife Brotherhood stuff, and that's going to be going out. Let's just talk. Hey, type madness in the uh, chats and caps 
because the month long raffle got bigger. Um, so this is the last weekend for tickets. So please type in madness in the chat and you get tickets to win the case mini trapper that's serialized, mm. the Richter slip mm -hmm. that he donated. And then uh, RDS created these toothpick holders. And I don't, oh, I, yeah. you know, I, so I threw one of those in there and then you sent a couple of these. So one of those is mm -hmm. going in now. That's Linda made those. That's her design. And, yep. And uh, that's right. Yeah, Miss Linda is in charge of the socks and the handkerchiefs, correct? <laughs> she is. She's the boss lady. Gotcha. That's yeah, those right. Are, those are all. I seen the one you You're had. Sitting right here. Yep. 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 And one of those are going out tonight as well. Um, but also, um, Radio Geek Blades donated this little flashlight. So I was like, you know, we got all this stuff, and uh, Kevin's going to touch on some stuff here in a second. But our scheduling, we uh, something hit us Thursday. So, you know, with this show, we're trying as best we can. You know, we've, we've done a good job so far for the year, um, but some changes might have to come in the near future. We are going to keep the same time and everything next weekend. We just really got to work on the scheduling a little bit or find something else in, in the schedule or something. But uh, type in madness to get your tickets for all this stuff. You know, we was able to add a little bit more to it. Uh, but, Kevin, if you want to touch on that while I put this stuff up real quick. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, guys, so, you know, as you know, we're here every, uh, you know, every week, Central 430 and Eastern 530, you know that. Um, we've been doing this now for for quite a while. Um, but, yeah, me and me and Jerry, we talk every day. We talk more now than we ever have. And uh, we were, you know, we were just kind of talking. Like, and like you said, something hit us on Thursday, guys, where, Scheduling is really just becoming it's becoming an issue, um, you know, trying to trying to be here um, at this in this time at this time um, on a weekend. We have, as you all know, very short weekends. You get two days, two days out of the week, guys. That's all you get. Um, so when you when you're working, you know, Monday through Friday, uh, you don't have much time. You're coming home. You know, you're leaving work in the in the early morning. You're coming home late at night. Um, and your your weekends, you, you really want to spend time with family. Um, you want to spend time with loved ones. You want to, ch and then there's also chores you got to get done as well. Things you can't do during the week because you work. Um, and there's a lot of that. There's a there's a lot of that, guys. So, you know, basically we're just having some uh, issues with scheduling. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing going on between me and Jerry. We me nah. and Jerry, we talk more now than ever. Uh, we talk a thousand times a day. I think um, we talk too much sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> we so, FaceTime and all kinds of stuff. We're 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 always talking. Me and him are best of yeah. friends, and and it's like I said, guys, it's scheduling. Um, it's rough, so man. We're gonna have yeah, you know, we're we're gonna hit more on this next week, uh, for sure. We're gonna be here next week, same time. Um, but we just want to give you guys a heads up um, that yeah. we are having some serious issues with that with scheduling. Um, so what, what we're going to ask is please, and we, we greatly appreciate everybody that's donated to this channel, uh, Georgia, um, in the list, Jerry will read the list. He, I think he reads it three times a, a live. Yeah. Um, we, we appreciate everybody that, that donates. It's huge. It's really what makes the, all of these giveaways run. Um, yeah. So we're going to ask for right now that everyone hold off on uh on donating to the channel um just because of of what's going on we don't want you guys to send anything that we in the future are unable to get out and we don't want you know yeah. we'd have to obviously mail it back to you and we're just trying to avoid that so hold off right now on uh please on uh, donating anything to the channel um until we can figure out a little bit more and we're gonna have a little bit more information for you next week yeah uh, jerry i'll let you run off on that a little bit from there yeah, I'm hoping by Wednesday or something we'll have something squared away. I mean, me and you got to talk some more and things like that. I know we had a big conversation Friday. We FaceTime to talk Friday, but you know, just get on. You know, we I think we told them enough. I mean, we're having issues, brother. That's it, it. just plain and simple. We're having scheduling issues, but let's not. Hey, let's let's get some positive vibes going. Let's show Georgia. You got to show that dang shotgun shield Saudi you got there, brother. 
I got it. I got them. I got them all laid out here. Let me find it. Here's one. Man, I Man, just like somebody threw up some, somebody threw up knives in here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this is actually my my favorite of all time Saudis. Let me get my oh, man. That's that harvest bone. Oh. That's the one I, I lost one at Blade Show just like this one. And I actually found one. And the price of it wasn't really that bad, to be honest with you. I was surprised, but I jumped at it. But, yeah, that's uh, that's my favorite, probably favorite Saudi, even though it is stainless, which I like stainless fine. Uh, but uh, that was one of my – that was one of my goals uh, to find that one. Uh, it's a beautiful knife. I'm let's see. I got another. I got the persimmon bone one somewhere. If I can find it, I got like I said, it looks like it looks like somebody threw up knives here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> well, that's wrong one, but yeah, Linda, like she came in here like, oh my god, she didn't know I had this many. <laughs> well, I got it somewhere. The persimmon. It's the persimmon bone. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> orange. Kevin, Beautiful. you got a persimmon orange uh, yeah. trapper, don't you? While he's looking, while he's looking, we'll show mine real quick. Trapper. Yeah, I got uh, the trapper too. I mean, yeah, the trapper. This one here was uh, this. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. I really love this color, um, and it it's is. it's pretty. It's uh, it's pretty equal on each side. I might yeah, be a little darker, but uh, it's it's pretty. You know, yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. even is what I should say on both sides, but a really nice color. Um, that's wrapper. It is. is. That's one I thing I don't have. I do not have a persimmon orange knife. They're nice. out there. Just never ran into one to buy. Oh, readily available. Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. That that was a that was a find. When I saw that thing, oh, man, I didn't even look at the price. Which it wasn't. It was a good deal. But it's just a back pocket. I didn't even know they made a back pocket like this. Uh, you know, and it's, it's got that big clip blade. Should be oh, yeah. over here somewhere. Yeah, it's got that big. And uh, man, I'm like, man, I gotta have that. No, that's and then, and then uh, nice. that's another one I found that I didn't know they had. Big copper lock. Uh, now you're gonna make Doom Crew. You're gonna make Doom Crew uh, jealous with that one. Yep. Yeah, he's, he'll probably text me and won't trade. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen him on uh, I hadn't seen him on any videos on YouTube. He put Get one up the other about. day um, of his update, an updated copper lock collection. He put one up probably five or six days ago. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. But I know okay. he's busy. I know he's working all the time. Yeah. So he, he put one is what well, one he has that is just it gets me every time is the uh chestnut bone uh yeah, one he, yeah. chestnut bone uh yeah one he has there man that thing is beautiful beautiful the color on it because you know how every color is a yeah. little different tends to each yep. knife to each knife the color they just nailed it on that one that came Case, from me Case it? has it yeah Case has a they their bone is, is he nice. trades me out all of them <laughs> it happens but I'll tell you one that I bought and and that I was it was it, I guess you could say it was like a grail, even though the Saudi I just showed is my favorite, you know, as far as the Saudi, but this sow belly right here. Oh god, I was flipping through eBay one day and brand new in the box, and uh I'm like I didn't even think about it. I wasn't even worried about my Miss Linda getting mad at me because, yeah, I mean, I paid one hundred twenty-five dollars for it. You know, it, it was more than I normally pay, but, but it's a, it's a, it's a sow belly, and I, I just didn't care. I just didn't Beautiful. care, you know. So, I, I I've got to be honest, Kevin. I don't know about you, but Kevin, I'd pay that for that. I would too. Yeah, all day and all. It's it's got that beautiful on there, man. Oh God, it's. It's it's like a uh, I like the harvest a little bit better than uh, than I got a I got a persimmon soddy somewhere I probably got maybe down here I got all my sod buster stacked up but they're walking you know, away from you yeah it's uh 
But I mean, I you know, I like the persimmon bowl a lot, but that harvest it, it's got that kind of darker orange. I just I like that yeah. man. It's it's just a cool. And I've got I've got a big trapper, and I've got several of them in it. Uh, yes. But I'm still looking. That's you know, I don't I don't know how many. I wish Case would like. I could find out how many of each series they made. And it's kind of like the uh, uh, whiskey bone. I wish, you know, I could find out how many patterns they have in whiskey bone. And I've got four of those patterns. Uh, Me too. I think Kevin does too. Yeah. I think Kevin does. I just, bought, I just bought this one. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I had the guy come off of it so. Actually, the first peanut I've ever bought beside the one Miss Linda has. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I pulled I, the trigger. Yeah, I pulled the trigger yeah. on that one as well. Yeah, and I got the Saudi. Oh, yeah. Didn't you? Which you got that one, didn't you, Big J? Oh yeah, I got her oh, sitting yeah. right here. Yeah, my brother bought me this one. Uh, shoot, four or five years ago, and I've never even heard of it. So I, I kind of. I carried it and I still carry it some, you know, actually. But I, you know, I'm like, well, I wonder if they make any more. So I, I started looking and yep, there they were. So, but I did, this is, this, yep. They're hard to find though. They're well, find. I tell you what I did. You know, the guy who always gets the knives and that's Kent Smith. Yeah. So what I did was I just put a bug in his ear. I was like, Hey, if you ever yeah. find one, I'll buy trade, whatever, whatever you want to do. Just if you find it, you hit me up. I'll give you whatever you paid for it, whatever. And uh, I was actually traveling over to Bass Pro in Peoria a couple weeks, a few weeks ago. And he goes, hey, I found one. And you are not going to believe what I had to pay for this, Randy. What? $60 shipped. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what big I paid for that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I paid for that. It's brand new. That's a good deal, man, because I've seen them. They had one on, on eBay for $175. I'm like, no. Yep. Yep. Because I've yep. already got one, you know. Gary, can we see the uh can we see the color on that? The color on this knife is just outstanding, guys. It's, Look at that. It's, it's beautiful, man. They're oh, man. And they're, so this is a pretty good match. I've got the uh, large trapper and a mini trapper as well, and it's pretty similar to this tone. Um, Jesse, I just I lent Jesse the tribal lock. It's darker, it is full dark. I got the mini trapper. I thought I had the big trapper, but I guess I got it confused with another one. But and and James uh, Stork is saying Shepherd Hills just released a family of harvest orange. He has a Saudi oh, Junior. Oh sweet! Okay. Why don't you oh. get on there and look? And and I know Kevin has something in his hand that he's just been waiting for about five minutes to show. I seen something orange in your hand, brother. I'll pull, yeah, I got I, I got it over here. I know what that is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. Yep. I, I I'll tell you, this is. This has got to be my, I'll say it, this has got to be my favorite Saudi. I don't have the whiskey bone, mm -hmm. but I got this one here. This is the uh, the autumn bone. Um, it, it's just, I don't know how that's coming in, but. Good. It's coming in real good. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is just, I mean, yep. both sides, um, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yep. Uh, yep. You pull that plate out. and I got all oil on it, so if you guys see the oil, that's, that's yep. just so it's just care. <clears throat> Do you carry it, Kevin? You carrying that one? I, I haven't yet. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. I carry mine all the time. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't been able to. You know, look at the thickness on this too. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Look, look at yep, the thickness. Yep. This 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 is so thick. Um, compared to, you know, real quick, I can show you guys. Yeah, um, there's a big difference. So we'll we'll go like this real quick, right? And you guys can see the difference there. Yeah. No. Do you have a regular bone one you can put to to show how thick that orange bone is? Here is that the orange bone, bone is th way thicker than the regular bone. Yeah. There you go. Man. Yep. So that's the that's the difference there. Man. Feels good in your hand for sure. Oh, it it orange. feels your hand. It, it it gives you a nice feel in your hand. Absolutely, Georgia. There, there it is. There, there it is. is. My plan was to get the trapper and the, the mini copper lock, but I did get I did get the 75. That the 75 was actually the first one I bought. And I hadn't even carried it when these came out. 
Yeah. Um, Cause it, it, you know, when I seen them and I read it was 1095 and carbon steel, whatever, 1095 carbon steel. And I thought, man, that that's beautiful. You know, then I got the sod and then now, now they're like, they're gone. Yep. Yeah. I beat they're the gone. mortal guts out of this thing. Yeah. I mean, I just beat it to death. I even reprofiled the clip point blade on it because it had a big belly out at the top, you know, mm -hmm. it almost had like a Saudi junior blade on it. And yeah. uh, I just, as soon as I got it, man, I just took it to the stone. I was like, I need yeah. a point because you have these other blades, you know, you got your, you got your spade blade you can use for a more rounded tip, you know? So mm -hmm. I wanted a real, I wanted something to, that I could really get into something with and open a package or whatever. And you also got, you know, the big old, humping sheep's foot on these yep. things but that's a yeah. that's a good size carry knife i mean it really it's is sure is and you carried that in the uh in the georgia slip in georgia slip yeah yeah look at that weight on there yep. that beautiful i gotta I mean, make some more of them look how beautiful that that yep. that slip has yep. uh teeth has really oh, it's really you got something on it or is it just shined um, up like that by itself wax i put uh some of last chance knives wax on it okay he sent it okay. to me a long time ago yeah just one coat though not a lot yeah just rubbed it in and then my shirt you know as you're walking with it and your shirts were rubbing yeah. on it it yeah. just okay really sheened it up, it up. yeah I was, I was wondering about that because it it the dye it's like this you know you can see how the dye and i put some treatment on it but you can see it's not shiny. Now, Tandy makes some slick stuff, but my thing is everybody might not want it shiny, so I don't I don't put it. I just burnish the edges and yeah. put before I ship it, I put the leather treatment on there. You know, everybody don't like it the same way, so. That's a you know, beautiful slip. Yeah. Beautiful this slip is going slip. to HT right here. Oh, yeah. HT's EDC. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send this to him. Very good work. Good yeah, work. So he's he's going to get that it. Is. I'm sending him the uh, the uh, traveling knife. And also seen RDS made him a killer cup. Yes. All them big made, made one, man. Got, that was great work. Got all them designs and stuff on mm -hmm. it. Um, the logos and stuff. Yeah. That RDS, amazing. I don't think he sleeps. I don't think he does either. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been, been kind of talking to him about maybe three years. And he he made me a sign. He's made me some stuff, and I, I think I've sent him something. Diver and then he, you know, I advertise this. I mean, he does great. He does some great work. And the beads, you know, he must have just started doing those. Uh, and no nope, man, they're not. He's got one with a turkey on it. He's got Winchester, and I'm gonna hit him up, hit him up for it. I think Sarah's got it, don't she? She's got something. Yeah, um, and I think that's where I saw it at. She got some uh, with some deer and something, uh, don't tread on me or something. Yeah. I think she um, had one with a turkey. It said Winchester. So I'm going to get him to make me one. Well, yeah. well someone tonight is going to get a knife brotherhood bead. Oh, yeah. That's a good giveaway. Yeah, so he surprised good. me with those. And I thought, man, that's great. Yeah. A box great. of goodies. Yeah. So, but I've got. Very, I Right before the live, I didn't get a chance. Real quick, I didn't get a chance. To, I opened up that package. Okay. So right before the, I mean, I'm talking minutes before I got on. Um, awesome, awesome. And I got one of them beads. And all I'm gonna say is, uh, those knife brotherhood beads. Yep. They're bad. They're oh, the bad. beads. He's gonna make yeah. a lot on them beads, man. He does great on them things. Yeah, they're awesome. They, they look awesome. real good. Yep, HT yeah. saying RDS is an outstanding dude, and he sent yep. quite a bit of stuff. And like I said, um, I threw some in the uh, the month long giveaway, and I'm, I got uh, quite a bit for tonight, man. It's going to be a big giveaway tonight. Here, I'm, I want to show everybody. Hold on just a second, Georgia. Can you show that again? Yeah. You're on, Georgia. Can you show that? Oh, okay. One? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the bead. One of them he yeah. sent me, and I got it on this uh, rose crap right here. So yeah, he he his work's fantastic. I'm gonna call. Hey, I'm you're gonna like Sarah them. with the antler pieces. Oh, I cut them. I got so many deer horns, man. You know, I find in the woods, and oh I've, yeah, you know, deer hunted all my life. So I got a bandsaw, and I'll just saw them up and drill a hole in them. They make good little beads. But 
Yeah. Oh, they, those pens are great, man. And Kevin, you got one of these too, right? Yes, I did. I was just going to. Yes, I did. Got one with Boston on there. Yeah. Oh, man, it came out great. Great. You know what I like about them pens the best, beside the artwork on them, is they take a common Parker Jotter refill. Oh, there you go. Because I know and you it, love that pen. Do you love that? Yeah, pen? They, that's good. That's a good ink. They write yeah. good. You know, Parker makes good, good refills. So I see the video. That's the, like that. that's the best. That's the best part of it. Beside the pen is the refills are easy to find. You don't have to good. find these weird ones. So you got a nice heavy duty pen. I think that pen's probably ind indestructible. <laughs> really, it's uh, nice. Yeah, yeah it's heavy really nice booty. Pen. Yep. I don't know. You, Kevin you, had me buy this brass when it weighs about, I don't know. It's not too heavy, but it's just the right weight. And man, that thing feels like you could just throw it through a brick wall. Like you could chisel with that pin. Yeah. That solid brass pin you had me buy. Solid I've, got a, I've got a Bastonian. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah. and I got a brass pin. I didn't realize how heavy it was. I mean, it pulls my pocket down like that. I said, man, I can't carry this thing. So I, I have it in my bag. I, I had one like that, a tactical style pen, and then yeah. I was afraid to buy another one. But Kevin's like, "Hey, try this brass one. It's twenty bucks." And I did, and uh, I have some refills, and uh, it worked great, man. It's, yeah. it's I use it every day. But RDS um, says I, I don't know if he goes by RDS or RDS because I heard His someone calling Bobby. Bobby. Okay. His name's Bobby. So I go into the kitchen the other day. And there's a big box. It's like in the middle of the table. And I'm like, <laughs> why is this big box in the middle of the table? So Sarah, she goes shed hunting at the fields where she works. They got to keep the, the the fields clear of the, the sheds, you know, because of tractor tires and all that. Yeah. Well, she packaged up a, a dang uh, mm. antler to send to him. So he's got an antler on the way. He's going to make some uh, antler beads, I wow. think. With those. I think that's the story. I try to keep up, but I can't. Yeah, going on yeah. I'm curious. He, he'll probably come out with something that's extra special, probably. I'm watching. I'm watching the oh, comments yeah. here. James, he said I had a pen made for my wife. Yeah, he uh, did. Yeah, and then <laughs> what? Sticking eyes is saying pocket jotter, best pen uh, you can buy on Amazon. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting a uh, the Parker. Parker Jotter. Yeah, that's the one you carry. Uh, know that. Oh, every day. I watch, yeah. I love them. I love every them. It, you know, you can get them 20 something bucks, $30 if it's a special edition, but I've got my the original stainless steel one I carry. That I, I, you know, I carry different ones, but I carry that stainless one a lot, and, and I've had it for years, and it it just clicks and goes right on. Man, you drop it. You He's know, gone. It's, it's, it's a good pen. They're good pens. I like the little the the uh, pocket clip. It's got the arrow arrow pocket yep. clip. I like that. Yep. But I didn't show y'all this one. Uh, this was one that I was excited about, and I think you got one, don't you, Big J? That's the first time I saw it. Yeah, I do, and it's on loan yeah. to Jesse McJames right yeah. now. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had these in the whiskey bone, and I found one on Etsy, and it was a you know it was a good buy. You know. Yeah. Anything like this under a hundred bucks is a good buy. And it came with this sheath or this slip. Oh, yeah. I didn't even make this. Didn't get a box with it, but I don't care. You know, I'll, I'll to, real quick, I'm thinking about carrying mine. I, 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 oh, you I, got I, one too. But here's the thing. Yes, I do. Right, and I, it's been sitting in this drawer with, with um with oil <laughs> on it, so the blade doesn't patina. Right, but I I'm looking at it all the time, guys, and I'm and I'm saying to myself because I love. I love that pattern. That's one of my yeah. favorite patterns. Yeah. And I'm just saying, I got to carry that thing. I got to, but you know, it's one of the things you're weighing it out, but man, do I want to put that in my pocket? I'll tell you that right now. In a yeah. nice slip, man. Yep. Yep. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I get them all the time that, that, uh, you know, I'm like, man, it's like these back pockets, you know, I'm like, I want to put that in my back pocket, you know, but yeah, you know, hey, um, before we go too further, um, there's a guy in the chat who has started a YouTube channel. I don't think he's he's had it very long, but he's got about 70 subs and he actually won uh, a raffle, I think, last weekend. 
Sanctified EDC gear. He's a uh, so, he's one of my big customers. Yeah, and, and he's he's a great guy, man. And he's ordered stuff from me, and he's just a he's a great great good guy, man. And I, you know, uh, really enjoy. Didn't yeah, he go by to... Sawbuster Fifty on IG? Wasn't yeah. he Sawbuster Fifty on he, IG? He used to be. He used yes. to be. Yeah, yeah. But he's a great guy, man. He's he's got a good channel. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So if oh, you guys nice can go, yeah, guys, go give him a follow. He's got some great blades. If you look, he's got the uh, the carbon steel copper lock. He's got all kinds of stuff. He's got this great. Uh, I don't know, like a, that one that uh, Baxter's been showing. It looks like root beer, mahogany bone. So, guys, go give him a follow. Let's try to get him to 100 subs today. I mean, yep. that's only 30 away. If everyone could go in there and do it, why yep. not? Yep. And he he's a big supporter, like Jer Jerry said. Yep. He he really is. So, and and you know, as 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 George is saying, he's a great guy. So why not, guys? Yeah, he go is. So. Yeah. Yeah. He he really is, and and we need to we need to get him up there. Oh, we need to get him up there and get him on up, and because he, like I said, he's a big supporter. He has yes. supported me. I don't know, last three three years or so, and uh, he's just, you know, he's just a good down to earth guy. You know, easy to deal with. You know, I get every now and then I get some. They're like, well, you know, the leather didn't die right, and, you know, and I, and I have to explain to him, well, all the leather dies different. You could put a saddle die on a piece of leather and get another piece, and it'll it'll look different. But that that's what to me is the beauty of it. Yep, that's the beauty of it. Some people, you know, yep. they think it's supposed to be, you know, something. I don't know what, but Every that's rare. I don't have many problems out of folks. Most, most people are good people, and and I try to work with people, man. You know, I, I mail stuff. Like I've got two items out there now, and I had to mail the mail law so i had to make another one just like it but i always say it might not be exactly like the other one was yep that's you know, so that's have to beauty. mail another one that's so, the beauty like you yeah, said it is that's every piece of leather right it's going to have a little bit different yeah. characteristics to it the way it takes to die but anyways yep. i know what you're saying randy yeah you know but you most know. people are are you know, they're, they're easy to deal with. Most people. Yeah. Are, you know. Yep. Dwayne let have been subbed. People. Yeah, people it's, oh, it's like they buy it and they don't want to use it. I mean, that they're yeah, just buying it yeah. to, to look at. Yeah. But if yeah. you put that thing in your pocket, yeah. and you're it's wearing it around. Scratched. Yeah. It, it's going to get scratched. I mean, you can look at this, you know, and it's got little, but you know, and I had, I had one guy, the only guy I've ever had, he said something about some blemishes on it. And I'm like, well, it gets, the cows get scars on them. Then when they the, the tannery gets it, and then they ship it, it's thrown around, and then they get it at Tandy or whoever, it's thrown around on the table. So it's gonna get little marks and scratches on it. But that that makes it better to me. Yeah, you have, sure. you're not gonna have your piece is gonna be different than anybody else's. You no, show no a piece two of leather. pieces are alike. So I'm gonna show a piece of leather, right? So this here. Yeah. This here comes from um, it's a it's a it's called Ashland Leather, and they're out of um, they're out of Chicago guys, right? And you see all the scratches and everything on this. Now, when when I got this leather, this is called Dublin, um, and it's out of the Horween factory in Chicago. When I got this leather, it was not this dark. It was obviously not scratched up. Mm -hmm. It's a lot lighter, but this is patina, guys. This is, you know, this is this is your patina. This is what a wallet look. I've carried this wallet now for a long time, and you know, you can see around the edges how it's getting all dark, and and you know, leather changes, leather yep. changes, guys. You know, and that's what makes it, that's what yep. makes it yours. You know, so that's all. Yeah, and uh, Randy WSG is putting a couple other people up here who are under a hundred, like RH Blades and Shades, Six Gun Slinging. So, guys, be sure to hit up these newer guys, man. Um, they're yeah. in here supporting us. So let's go support them. And uh, I know I've left comments on uh, RH Blades and Shades. I think I follow him. The Six Gun Sling, and I don't know if I'm I'm familiar with him, but I'm going to be. I just so. found him today, and I yeah. subbed to him. So, yeah. Yeah, do I'll it, go. man. Sub, I haven't. 
I haven't heard of him. I'll go over and sub to his channel. So what else you got sitting there, uh, Randy? Well, I got I got some new ones. I got a uh, got a burnt bright green. Uh, and who who came out with this? Was it was it at Smoky Mountain or Smoky Shepherd Mountain. Hills? Yeah, or no Shepherd. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I, I got this one, and this one's it's got some of the black and green on there. It's a beautiful green sod. Uh, Stainless steel. So I got that one a while back when it came out. Uh, so, and then this one, the dragon. Have y'all seen the dragon bone? That was that was Smoky Mountain. That was Smoky Mountain. Dragon yeah, bone. Yeah. yeah. It's actually, the technical name for it is burnt Caribbean blue bone. Corn cob yeah. jig. Oddbuster. But they called it dragon. They put their bone. own name on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh Love the shield right here, uh, but it's yeah. it's you know the back's got a little bit more green on it. That's but nice. it's uh it's beautiful, man. It's a it's a beautiful. They 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 got some nice stuff coming out in the Saudis. I, I do wish like I, I I told the lady at the at the, at the uh, uh, case knife event. I told one of the reps that you know tell tell your people it'd be nice to have a Macarda. Sodbuster, from a car to Sodbuster, with yeah. a lanyard hole in it, but at least a a uh, Macarda or a G10 because I I love them. Yeah, seventy is that a seventy one? Yeah, yeah, I got a seventy one. Richter sent me, and it's it's jam up, man. I carry it, you know. It's jam up. Kevin's you know? got one too, man. Yeah. It's jam up I knife. Oh, it is, and and that is yeah. that's a knife that you can drop on pavement that you could. Yeah, man, that thing that thing yeah. is built like a tank. It is like a tank. Yeah, um, yeah, it is the half stop on it. It's it goes into that hot. That's a scary half stop. Yeah. The only one I've seen that's got one worse or harder is this Rosecraft right here. Oh, uh, it's hard. Oh, uh, I bet it's about an eight. Man, it, I kept. Ooh, I, the first time I did that, I sliced my finger open. <laughs> my yeah. good gracious, this thing oh, don't God, like me, worry, man. Be careful. Yeah, but they, these these craft knives, man. You know, and I'm not getting paid to say this or anything, but HT. You know, we talked on the phone one day, and he was telling me about them, and I said, "Well, I've looked at them, but I've never." But but the workmanship and the craftsmanship on these things are absolutely perfect. You know, if there's a such thing. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, and this shield, I thought it was just a uh, badge. He said, no, that's a, that's a rosebud. Yep. And I said, well, that makes sense. And so, you know, they're up and coming. I think according to him, they're supposed to move their factory over here. You know, yeah, I, I mean, it's, the, it's made in China, yeah. but it's, it's an American company. Yeah. He did a show. Well, um, Tim school of fish. That show he does, he had Andy on, and Andy said it's probably five years out before they even break land, which is understandable. Yeah. But, um, it seems yeah. like their prices, um, you know, before they were around $35 to $40. Yeah. yeah. And then now they're up around, I think, the $60 range. I yeah. believe I'm not 100%. I haven't bought one in a while, yeah. but me and Kevin were talking about it. I pay, yeah. I want to say 52 for that. Well, they got some. They'll run some sales, and they'll drop yeah. down in the 40s. Uh, but I'm sure steel's went up and everything, you know, everything's yeah. going up. I know steel is, you know, because, you know, fuel makes everything go up. When fuel goes, because I, I can tell you at the power company, yeah, you know, all them bucket trucks and all that takes all that fuel and it, so everything, everything goes up. So the big companies have to, or even a small company has to, uh, the leathers went up, you know, the, the yeah. I, I was, I was, Paying eight dollars shipping, what five years ago, or maybe three or four years ago. So now it's a, it's it's nine ninety nine ninety eight nine ninety six, yeah. but I've kept my shipping the same. You know, I'm just like I'm not going to charge people that. But I mean, I've had to go up on my leather a couple dollars. You know, you don't want to do that because you know I try to my my philosophy is leather goods for working people. So you know, I ain't going. I'm not going to make a slip and charge fifty bucks for it because, yeah, it ain't worth fifty dollars. 
I mean, well, there's a lot of hand work going in it, but it is, it look, you're not much leather. You know, you got to pay for the time and the hand sewing and the thread, but I just can't justify, you know, $40 for that. That's just me, you know. Well, I make get Sarah it is the same. Sarah says the same you know. thing. The guys at work have her make stuff, and she won't charge over $30 for it because yeah. I'm hand yeah. delivering it to them. But this ghost yeah. leather stuff that she bought, I knew nothing about it. I actually sent a picture of this to Kevin, and he's like, like that's that. burrow yeah. leather. That's out of Tuscany. Yep. And she yeah. thought it was just cheap leather because mm -hmm. this leather, 12 by 12 inches, was $24, I believe. Yep. For yep. a 12 by 12 sheet. Yep. Where did she get it, Dandy? I don't know who she got it. I would assume yeah. so, but I'm not 100% sure. But well, compared that to the to the Catalina leather that I have that I buy at Tandy, it's like six ounce, and I can yeah. buy a whole side, a whole side, ninety nine bucks. This vegetable wow. tan, I can catch it on sale, you know, fifty six, fifty seven, sixty dollars for either a full shoulder or a side of it. For a, for, uh, so. for a whole side of it. Yeah, so for whole side sometimes it might be seventy something. Yeah, uh, you know, yep. and that's your biggest expense really, because yep. I mean the dyes really aren't that much, and you get a little tool here and there, you know, the rivets or whatever, uh, you know. But the leather, you know, and they they got some leather, man. It's like a hundred and sixty seventy dollars for a side, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So well, I'm kind of picky about my leather. I don't I, I don't like to order it online. Now, I would order the Catalina online because I've already seen it. But, you know, I like to go up there because I got a Tandy about 50 miles from here. And I can go there and I can stop by there on the way home from work. Oh, nice. And go in there and look at the leather. So, you know, I'm kind of picky about that, you know. Now, that ghost leather, right? That's bison underneath that, right? Isn't that bison un underneath well, that? Well, the collar is brown the collar. bison. The collar. Yeah. 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 When this rubs off, you get that. But yeah. you also get the gray over here. Because yeah. It don't rub very hard. It's it makes cool. a pretty. It makes a pretty slip. Yeah. So it's a yeah, it's it a, a spice and color underneath, and it's waxed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. weird. I've you'll never see. seen you got, it. I've got one coming. You'll see. I can't wait. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. You got to show it to us. I think Richter was the first person that I ever saw use it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. brother Rick. That, that that's the this, first person I saw as well. Yeah, this one houses this stag cell belly. Oh man, oh. I traded uh, I traded the GEC for it, but it was that dang GEC comb knife that eight six five wanted, and I said, "What do you got?" And I looked at his channel; he had a couple cell bellies, and he said he'd get rid of the stag. So I jumped all over it. Yeah, I tell you, them 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 uh, cell bellies. They've gotten so expensive, but it, it's a it's a nice it's a nice. I've got a couple of them on my watch list. Uh, they're they're it's an it's a beautiful pattern, man. It's a good carry too. You're right. Kind of up there. Right. It's kind of up there with the seventy five. You know. Yeah. Uh, I went down to Tractor Supply. They wanted ninety dollars for a uh, for a micata um, micata saw belly. They wanted ninety dollars for it. I showed you, Jerry. Oh yeah. yeah. The was it the green? The green and black uh, one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I believe so. It was my card. Yeah. It was, it was not, it was, this was in New York when I went to New York. Yeah. And it priced a uh, sticker on it for $90. Yeah. So they, that, that, yeah. They great. got that, they got that 75. I, 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 I've got a 75 in the green and black. I'm following, I'm watching it and it's like 80, I want to say 85, 86. Yeah. They, they're pricing. You think the McCarter wouldn't be as, as much, right. but me personally, that's as far as carrying. I love, I love to carry my card. I mean, I love my card. I love the bone, but I like my card. Oh, yep. Yeah. D10. I got yep. this bone stag one when I was on vacation and it was uh seventy nine ninety nine. So it's like oh, 80, good, probably $86. Good, I paid for it. It's a good deal. It's yeah. a good deal. So I got that's that one. I got the bone stag and I got the real stag and then, you got one. Is it? Did you? It's got that one. It's got the on the bolster. It's got no on the bone. It's got case. Is that you or Doom Crew? It's um, got it's, it's got case on the bone. That's me. Right on the bone. Well, yeah. Doom Crew had one, but he traded it away. Traded to you, yeah. No, he didn't trade it to me. 
Um, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. the one you had a minute ago. He traded his to Kent Smith, and I got this from 865 Knives on a trade. You can't but find Doom, him either. Man, they're hard. But, to... but Doom Crew did trade me the matching mini trapper with a Warncliffe oh, blade. Oh, man. gosh. Wait, right there. Look at that. I love it. In I stag. Love that. That's right up your alley, Randy. Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't I didn't really get interested in, in Born Cliffs till till Richter. You know, he's talking about them. I thought, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I don't even have it down here, but it, I'm gonna try one. It's it's just a black Micarta with the with the uh uh satin finish and I cared a lot. Uh I was just gonna ask you that. What what do you carry as far as a Warren Cliff? Let's see that blade. Well I I just got this one. Uh, well, I just didn't get it. I've had it a couple months. Uh, it's that G10 one. They just come out with the large large in it. Nice. I carry it. I like G10. I like my car to better, but I do like G10. And it's got the it's got the satin finish. Uh, it's got that nice shield on it. But, you know, I've got that. And I've got, uh, of course, I got these. Uh, Got these these trappers from DLT. Oh yeah, that's one of my that's one of my favorite carries right there. Uh, oh yeah, yep. Yeah, as far as a warning, one hundred percent. I actually yep. had my name put on this one. I splurged, <laughs> but you can see it's 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 dark. But you know, I didn't know if I'd like them or not. But they got a lot of good uses for them. You know. And I, I'll admit, I carry three knives every day. I carry a Saudi every day, and I carry one of these, and then I either have a flipper, you know, modern knife or sheath knife. Or if I don't have one of those, I'll have a 75 or, or, or a trapper on my side, you know. So, yeah, I got I got this one it dropped, right? This one here, this, this, uh, the one you were just showing, but it has the yeah. point, right? I yeah, carried yeah. And I, I haven't switched. I haven't changed. I've carried this every single day yep. since I bought it. Um, yep. I mean, this this is almost black. Look at yeah. This. I you love know, it. I, I, I pulled a trigger on one myself, and I carry it a lot. I mean, it's just getting – it's taking on a, a – this is a beautiful patina. It's taking yeah. on – but the knife, it's just a fantastic knife. It's, it's simple. It's just a simple – You got it. No frills. It's got the Macarta on it. It's just a yep. simple, good outdoors knife. Which you got one it. That? Yeah, Same thing. You got, yeah. It's, just, it. it's just a simple. Oh, you both got them. We all three I mean, got them. Can't, yeah, you can't beat it. I mean, you I'm can't. getting cockle maiming here. It's, yeah, you can't you beat can't. it. No. Nope. And and a simple, a simple knife. Just a simple Macarta knife. I just only thing I wish I had was a a, a, a lanyard too. I, I like putting lanyards on my knives, but this is just a. Simple. That's a great knife, man. Uh, and I love know. simple. I love simple. Yeah, I do too. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't really. I, you know, flashy's okay, but I like simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Macarta, man. And 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 I actually never even heard of Macarta except for being in Transformers and Breakers. Oh yeah. But as far as a knife, I didn't. I've never heard of them until Essie. So I was going to say, I bet that's what got yeah. you. Yeah, it was, was an Essie, the Mizula that I have, and it had a green Macarta, not much of a handle on it, but it was green. Then I bought a, I actually bought a three, an Essie three, and it's full green Macarta. And I'm like, man, I love this stuff. And it's tough and it's it's durable. And I and I like the way it looks, you know. Uh, it's just a good looking handle material, you know. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Just like his 75. Oh. Yeah. I, I mean, just traded that one away to Jesse McJames. I love this thing, man. Oh, that's uh, nice. And I got this black one. My wife got me this one. Miss Linda got me this one a couple of years ago. You know, and I got I got I got three that I carry, three seventy fives that I carry, you know. I like to carry um, uh, you know. So Kevin, I see you had something in your hand there. I know you was going to throw something up on the screen for us. I was just going to say the 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 Mikata they did on the uh, on the one hundred four compadre. Oh, that's Look beautiful. At that. Mm -hmm. that. that um, that's that, that buck. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a this is a, a great night, but I, I just really wanted to show this here that my cotter on yeah, this. Yeah, I like that. It is awesome. It is it is really. I mean, it's it's a, they did a great job on it, and uh, you can get these. These are readily available. You can get these. Is that a fixed on. blade, Boston, or is that a? a yeah, no, it's a fixed oh. blade. Oh, okay. I've this never is a, seen this that. I'm gonna have to check that out. It's a bushcraft. You know, it's a 104 yeah. buck 104. It's a yeah. it's a great. It's actually using uh 5160 spring steel. Oh, okay. Well, since yeah. you brought up a fixed blade, very good knife company. Not getting paid to advertise for them. I love this knife. It's it's a fantastic knife. And I had it on me yesterday, turkey hunting. You can see the patina on it. So it came with a it came with a uh plastic uh type sl slip uh sheath uh I can't remember what it's called now. My brain's. Uh, Kydex? Kydex? Kydex, yeah. Kydex. Came with yep. a Kydex sheath, um, which is which actually is a, you know, he makes his Kydex sheath real nice. I ain't got no complaints on it, but I I made me a leather one, and, uh, you know, I wanted to do some turkey tracks on it. And I actually wow. wet formed it, you know. That's nice. That's what that so is. when you wet form, when you wet form these, you got to wrap them with cellophane. You got to wrap cellophane around yeah. them. You don't have to, but it's smart to because, you know, you're wetting this thing. You know, you can see the the molding, and it it it. it I, I don't know what it is about this vegetable tan. What makes it do that? But when you wet form, and, and it, it gets like hard. It's like plastic, and the knife just the knife just you know it it. Just locks down in there, but uh, it does. you know, yeah, it, it, they, yeah. If you wet form them, I don't wet form a lot of my little my little uh, slip joint sheaths. But if somebody says, "Hey, I I want you to wet form it for a trapper or seventy five or Saudi," I'll do it. You know, yeah, but yeah. This is this is just a fantastic knife, and uh, I carry this to work a lot of times. I have to un I have to untuck my shirt, but. You know, or, or yeah. carry my vest, wear my vest. You know, I don't want to offend somebody, but yep. yep. You know, I, I, uh, I've been hearing knife. a lot of that company, very good knife company. A lot of people have been talking about. Yep. Them. Yeah, yeah. He's he's well, had Tim on, on and Tim done a whole show on them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got it going on. I mean, they, they, this is this is as good a quality as any five hundred dollar fixed blade, which I'm not going to pay. But this knife here is as good a quality. I mean, I've got an SE three that I think I paid, which has been several years ago. So they were, and they're still reasonable. I think I paid a hundred bucks for that thing. Yeah. This is every bit as good as any fixed blade I've ever owned. Uh, still an SE fan though, but uh, you oh, know, yeah. SE, they're great. That's a great nice knife. Stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I like it. Bought this one. This is the only GEC I've ever bought in this little H20. And it's nothing but a paring knife. But it's a great, it's a great size. It's about the same size as, as these DLT trappers, but it's a fixed blade. You can see it's patented. But the only thing I didn't like about it was uh the sheath. It, it was real loose in it. So I just I just put this rivet right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just put the rivet so it now it 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 fits snug in there. But it's a you know it's a good it's a good little whatever knife you know EDC fixed blade or whatever. And they got you can't find them much. I know they got a Delrin, an orange Delrin in it. They got three blade shapes. They got like a uh, Warren Cliff. They got a uh, it's it's like a sodbuster blade. I can't remember what they call the blade. They may, they may call it a skinning blade, like a soddy, but. Uh, then they got a mustard. I think it's called a mustard mustard micarta, and you know and they got the different ones. But yes, but yes, a bird and trout. Yeah, James bird and trout bird looking and nice. But it, it's good for a lot of things, and it you know you get them good and sharp. I mean, you cut a steak, or I, you know, I wouldn't think nothing about processing a wild turkey with it or fish or a deer. You know, so yeah, it's, it's it a looks nice, like a nice knife. Like you said, it looks exactly like a fixed blade trapper. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like about it. 
Uh, it's got a lanyard too, but that's what I like about it. It's, you know, it fits, you know, my, I got, I guess, large hands, but it fits, you know, it fits in your hand good. And it's got a lanyard, lanyard hole, which I yeah. like. That was another selling point. I did make a neck sheath for it and wet dried it or wet, wet formed it. Oh, uh, and it turned out good. So, yeah, yeah that's a nice looking knife. Now, yeah, when you wet form those, Randy, they really, they really hold that knife real tight. Real tight. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll hold it you know, tight enough where it don't come out. And yeah. what I do is, is I'll, I'll get, I'll get it put together and everything. And then I'll, I'll get the knife and wrap the cellophane around it, put it in there and I'll squirt it. We just, just soak it. A lot of people put them in a glass of water and soak it, but I did that one time and the leather looked kind of weird to me. So I just squirt it right. and then put the knife in there with the cellophane and I'll just take my thumbs and work it real good and just keep doing it and I'll wet it some more and work with it, you know, matching down, you know, getting a little, you're getting your little edges here, you know, you, so you just mash it. Right. So once I get that, then I'll wet it again and then I'll put, I'll put strips of leather and then clamp it. You know, I'll clamp it like right here and right here to get those spots I've got pushed down. Yep. Oh, uh, so it, it, it ain't going anywhere. It's not coming out, and it, it's got the little snout. And it, like I said, it's it's it hard. It's, it's weird how it does. It kind of hardens it up, but yeah, you know. And I, I like I said, all my sheets, I glue them like right here with the belt, uh, not the belt clip, but the belt loop. Uh, I do these in a belt loop, a belt clip too. But the belt loop, I glue it. I glue it here. I glue it here. I rivet it. Then I sew it. So it ain't it ain't, that ain't, it ain't coming way. loose. You ain't gonna lose it because that'd be that'd be the worst thing to me. Some guy putting a a two hundred dollar fixed blade and he called hell. Oh, he he messed me. I lost my two hundred dollar. I'm like oh lord. And the right <laughs> thing would be to do, which because it's my fault. Now if he's doing something silly, but you know I'd say well okay, I'm gonna send you a new knife too. But you know it, it, yeah. you want to make the stuff you know, hard, heavy duty. And I yeah. put the rivets, you know, like this. Just gives it strength, especially down here at the bottom. So, uh, of course, I did it with turkey stamps and an oak leaf because, you know, turkeys like oak acorns, yeah. you know. So, yeah. But anyway, Hey, I want to thank uh, Cornbread Hunting for Hookers for four ninety nine because for shipping because these boxes are jam-packed this weekend because you know um like kevin said earlier we're going to hold off on receiving any more items because we're having a little bit of scheduling conflicts right now so but we are definitely doing this show next weekend but after that we're, we're going to have to keep everyone posted on what uh what we're going to do as far as scheduling and stuff but cornbread we thank you very much for that man that goes a long way to help out with us yeah um, thank you thank you cornbread yeah yeah again guys this is going to be uh the, the giveaways um Today's going to be a, a pretty big giveaway, guys. So, um, yeah, you know, want to keep you guys just uh, in the loop again. I know I said it earlier, uh, but uh, there wasn't everybody in here. But today's a big giveaway, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, and Jerry just mentioned it. Yeah, just hold off on shipping for right now uh, to the live um, till we figure it out. Yep. And I was gonna. Oh, Randy, you have the most beautiful chestnut bone saw i don't know what you have in your hand there but that's thinking chestnut bone saw there this it is pile side of that thing now look at the pile side of this yeah it's weird isn't it it's not weird i love it yeah i like it but I, i'm like because i found this on ebay and a guy had it no box anything like that it didn't really have any patina on it so i could tell it wasn't used much and i've been looking for chestnut bone soddy forever uh and I know where there's one more. Johnny's has one in a in a display case for like you fifty, buy it 50 to have it. Yeah. But you can see when I tilt it on the light, you can see how it's kind of it's just like the jigging or something. It's weird. So but unique. It's like, it is. And it it's it it's it didn't it, it's not like that because it was carried, I don't think. Uh because you can see the front side almost dropped it. So you can see it on the front side. It's, it's the normal jigging. But chestnut bone, man, I, that's one of my favorites. I, I love chestnut bone. 
And that's another, that's another, this is another one that's hard to find. Yeah, you know, they are. You know, I look all the time. I'll just type in chestnut bone or when I'm, when I'm out of it, you got one. Yeah, I just yeah. got it. Not, oh, Kevin. I, I was going to say, I forgot how I got it. Kevin traded and had it. And I just made the comment of if you ever want to sell it or if you ever want to trade it, just please offer it to me first. And it wasn't a week later. I got this thing in my hand. Mm. And, uh, but he, he has it. first, he's got first buyback rights. So if I ever want to trade this, right, I've got to ask him first. Hey, do you want this back? Yes. Yeah. He didn't have to do that because he had swapped quite a few blades. And this thing is, when I say mint. This, the fit That's and finish nice. is believable. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a strike three. You're just right down the middle, man. Mm. So most, I was, sod I busters, most sod busters are, are right down the uh, hole or whatever you want. What, I, I hear guys say different things, but it's, it's right fine. Right Broadway. Up. Right down, yeah, right down Broadway. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. I like oh, there's some big E. Yeah, look at what oh, Kevin's yeah. got in this head there. What's yeah? That's a nice yeah. uh that's a chestnut. Yeah, I, got a, I got a saw, I got a trapper that cut that that chestnut. Those are beautiful, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah because they really with, are. With the chestnuts, right? They come in different what's uh what's the word I'm looking for? They every color is a little shade. Bit different shade to it or thank you thank you yes yeah. and this yeah. one here i really it's and you know what the the video is not doing it justice but look at oh, that yeah they're they're uh they're nice man they're real they're nice. nice um yeah but yeah they just like you said they come in different shades and sometimes you get some that are a little nicer than others you know yeah like, i found this at my buddy's bait and tackle shop it's is a that freaking, a Trapper lock and chestnut oh, bones, yeah. CV steel. Nice. nice. He oh, bought the making those? shop back home, and uh, he had this in his display case. Mm. He had two of them, CV steel. Mm. And uh, so I, you know, I told the story about how I got, you know, buying this or whatever. But I sent him a message later in the day. I was like, I said, where are where are people finding a 2018? that's what year it is chestnut bone knife these days and he goes well i just order what i can did you run into something i said i ran into this and i sent him a picture of it and he goes well where'd you get that i said your store man <laughs> he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't even know what he had in his display cases man mm. was, he does have a lot of inventory though but um <laughs> hey guys like, real dude, quick come on man put, remember to put madness in guys i know that jerry typed that in there but remember to put madness in caps uh for that uh, just, just a reminder. That's all. Yeah, yeah. He didn't I've even a, in this case. Crazy. I had <laughs> two of them. Should have bought both of them, but I've got a sod buster I found on on eBay. It's been a while back. I never even seen it or heard of it before. And it's called a burnt brown, and it's a 2018. And I never, never even heard of it, seen it, you know. Oh. So. Uh, oh. That's I was just nice. scrolling, yeah, and it, it, it. I never even. I'm like, well, man, that, that, and it was, you know, it was the your average fifty some odd dollar sod buster. What's what's the name of that again? Uh, Called Burnt Brown. Wow, I like yeah. that a lot. That's and nice. I've only seen two. I saw one, and I let. I didn't get it. Then this one came back several months after, and I'm like, man, you know. But it's like I said, it's a stainless steel, but it, it's a 2018, so. Yeah, and, and that's one, you know, that's one Beautiful. you don't see much of. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to look around on that yeah. in the pocket, man, but I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's, uh, they're, they're, you know, they got some that, I mean, that's one thing I like about eBay. I like to look at other places too, you know, uh, but eBay, you can find the, you can find the knives you don't, you don't, you don't see very much of, right. you know, like, yeah. and I got like this one here. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a, this is a, uh, and that's got the propeller shield and this is called pocket worn antique bone peach seed jig sod buster junior. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot, a lot of 
there, but it's a mouthful. Uh, I never even carried this one. I thought this was the prettiest sod buster when I saw it. And you can't find these, but I thought oh, this was you. the prettiest sod buster I'd ever seen, you know, until some of the other ones came out. But it's, like I said, it's, it's stainless steel. So, you know, there's some unique ones out there. You just, you just have to be patient. You just got to yeah, be a patient. Lot of people like that knife. That one yeah. and the other one. Well, I, I got a question for Randy, like a serious one. Um, I, I don't know if you're comfortable answering this, but how many sod busters do you have? Oh, Lord, let's see. You know, Miss Linda's sitting here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. see. I've got. I uh, know uh, I can't two. touch your collection. I can't touch what what you have with what I got. I know that, but got to be I a few. Probably got. I probably got fifteen, sixteen, because I got some upstairs. <laughs> Maybe twenty. Okay, probably that's 20. more like okay. Yeah, probably twenty. I've got, like I said, I don't have them all. You know, I've got. You know, I've got these two that I carry. You know, I've got I've got the little drawer, the little jewelry thing. My, my mother's it's yeah. got little drawers in it, so I that's where I keep my carry knife. She's giving me a mean look right now, y'all. No, <laughs> she hey, she supports me. Yeah, she does. And she Randy, knows I don't get I don't get carried away. Yeah. Randy, I seen the video that you did right, um, uh -huh. and you was Jerry seen it too, and he knows the video I'm talking about. It was it was the one with all all of them laid out. Uh, there was all different knives laid out. <laughs> And man, your your case, and that was only a part of your case collection. I can't think yeah. of the name of the video, but I I watched it, and um, you got some beautiful case knives, brother. If uh, you could, if you could stand here and look what I've got laid out here, and yeah. I don't I don't have as many as most people, but then my gun safe, I've got I actually finally found my little knife roll with my Parker Frost. I got an old Western in there. Oh. She's going to, Linda's going to take a picture and see if she can get it on your, uh, got a Western, um, uh, that I've had since the seventies. It's like a sod buster, but it's got the liner lock. Okay. okay. Uh, got that one and, and some Parker Frost and, and stuff. I, I know what Western you're talking about. Cause Lee has right. one for sale. There you go. <laughs> Holy bully, he's ready. He was ready, and it, Kevin. And it don't include the box I got sitting by me. Man. And, but then I got I got two display cases out in my gun safe. It's got some some of the uh, ones I've had since probably the 80s. And I found one. I've got an old Coke bottle that's like old. And I got one out there that I didn't even remember having. And I don't I can't remember the name of the pattern. It's got a big a clip, big clip point in a in a uh little small blade, a pin blade or a little fatter pin blade, but it's got the circle C and I looked up the circle C and it, it says forties and it, it's things about mint. And I thought, man, I, I didn't even, I can't even remember having that. And I got some Remington's out there, uh, which I, I like Remington's, you know, I've got this one. I brought a couple of them in here. Uh, I do like me some Remington knives. Uh, I've got several out there. And I think because the reason I like the Remington knives and stuff is because, you know, I deer hunted with a Remington rifle for years. And then the shotgun shelled ones, you know, I guess because oh, I'm yeah. a turkey hunter. Uh, but I, I like the Remington knives. I know they're made by Camellias, but, you know, they're good. I got, they're good I got quality a bunch knives, of man. You know, they're good. They're good quality. I got a ton of them. I like them. I, like them. I really do. Here you go. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I got that one. Yep. Yeah. These make great carry knives. If you, yeah. if you want a good one to carry. And I got a green bone, green bone one just like this out in my toolbox. I started just to roll my toolbox in here, but I couldn't get it up the steps. Mine's right here. That's just jam-packed full of knives. Yeah. I got I got a rollaway toolbox. That's what I use. But yeah. You were talking earlier about eBay and like stuff you find. Like yeah. Doom Crew traded me that back pocket that Richter owned. And I really like the color of it, the green. Yes. yes. And I really wanted um, some knives to match it, but I found the tribal lock to match it. Yeah. So I got this I, off. I eBay. bid on that one, one of those, but it got too yeah. high. And I'm like, nah. Yeah, I had to pay for it. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually yeah. um, messaged the guy and was like, hey, you know, I need some wiggle room. And he he worked with me $10. <laughs> That's good. But, $10. 
<laughs> yeah. So I, you know, like it was still like a hundred and twenty five dollars with tax and shipping. So yeah, you got the back pocket. Got back yeah. pocket. Oh, they're beautiful. I got this one on eBay. Yeah. One I like the best of all my back pocket. Well, I got three back pockets. This I got this one at Johnny's. Oh I, yeah. And this one, I told him, I said, man, you know how much that thing is on eBay? And I told him, and he still has it listed for $82. And I'm like, man, I'm going to have to get me another one. Because I, I yeah. would like, really like to carry this one. Because this one's got a great skinning blade on it. It does. Yeah. And it's, you know, Johnny's, uh, his, the, the, his son works there. His name ain't Johnny, but that's Johnny's Barbecue. But Rick, Rick's son works there, and he gave me this. It goes with it. He just gave it to me. They're, they're good people, man. He, he's a good guy. Uh, great barbecue. But he's got one of the biggest case displays I've ever seen. You know, a lot of knives. You know, some of his prices are good. Some are okay. You know, some not so. But, you know, he, uh, he'll he come down sometimes. You can talk him down. But he's the one that's got that chestnut soddy in the back in a turnstile. I'm like, hmm. I look at it every time. Every Just time buy it. Go yeah. You said it's a cheap price, 50, like 50 bucks, right? It's 52, 53, you know. Uh, but it don't have the it don't have the side like this one. It's got the all of it's the same. Well, I hadn't I actually I hadn't seen the back, so but yeah, it's uh he's got a lot of them, man. A lot of them. Miss Linda. Put in a request if y'all got time. I know we're close, getting close, but she wants me to show you her knives. Do it. She's she's become a knife person. She that's carries, awesome. Carries, that's awesome. Well, some Linda. of it is because of me, but but a lot of it is because she sits here and watches this every Sunday when I do. Yeah, she sits and yeah, watches. Sarah does it. too. She loves Miss Sarah. You can see Miss Sarah. She uh slip and. Yep. I got her this. I got her this uh, mini mini trapper at Johnny's, so she carries that. She carries this in her purse. Then I got her this one for Christmas. She likes canoes the best. She wanted nice. this one, and I made her a slip for it. But I messed up on it. This this vegetable tan leather for some reason don't stamp good, but. I would never sell that one, but I made it for her, so she likes it. Then, then I got her this little peanut because she likes pink. Yep. I got her this little peanut, and she carries it. But she's 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 become a knife lady. She helps me with everything. She mails all my leather. She does the slit, uh, the uh, socks, the hanks, and all that stuff. So she she supports me a lot. At times she don't really have to. Yeah. So she and she she's sitting right here right now watching, and so awesome. she she enjoys it. You know she enjoys it. So you know if you can get your wife interested in knives, you've made a big accomplishment. Yeah. Well, well, well I went in because we were doing sodbusters, and Sarah's got a couple, so I grabbed two of hers, the crimson uh, bone, mm. and then the yellow CV mm. one, just yeah. to have them here in case we were going to run run low. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta run love with them because they. She was getting a little aggravated at me this morning. She was in here cooking for a little Easter egg, and I it looked like, and I was running around and getting the knives out, and it looked like somebody just got drunk on knives and puke knives everywhere. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, it's yeah. like the whole table, you know. And I got a little spot I got my computer at. She go, "Why are you getting them out now for us?" And you know, I'm, I'm the kind of person I like to be prepared, you know. But yeah, it looks right. terrible. Right. <laughs> just, as well, I was sending Kevin videos because I always show him what we're going to give away. And I actually were was doing the giveaway boxes. Start I started them Friday. Yeah. Because we were FaceTime and I'm like, dude, I'm just yeah. gonna go ahead and start packaging because yeah. we got to give away a little more because if our schedule changes and stuff, we got to make sure that we're promoting people who yeah. are donating yeah. this stuff to us. And yeah, yep. because man, it goes a long way. And and while we're on that subject, Kevin, you want me to go ahead and do a rundown? Yeah, let's do that. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, first off, yourself, Georgia, EDC Leatherworks Etsy shop. The banner is in right below him. Go check out his Etsy page. Uh, J.O. Ventures, RDS Wood Turning and Acrylics, Jersey Knife Guy, 
Knife Delights, Tim School of Fish, Mike Curtis, Splitting Slices, Baxter's Blades, Jesse McJames, Richter Knives, North Star Knife Reviews, Randy's WSG, who's always uh, moderating for everybody, yep. Yep. Thrifty Kniffy, Radio Geek Blades. Be sure you check him out. He's been putting out a lot more content. Doom Crew, of course, my boy. HT's EDC, Hunting for Hookers, Philip W., Kent Smith, Michael Espinoza, James Stork, Tyler Gibson, RW, and Frank Kelly. So there's... That's a list of the rundown who people who uh, have been gracious to us over the past year. Um, but uh, yeah. do we want to go ahead and show what the first package is? Let's do that. Let's do that, Jerry. I mean, it's a shoebox, buddy. Oh, yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I so, know. <laughs> so we'll start um, swag, a swag pack. Man, we got all kinds of swag. but the I don't want to pull it all out of there, but there's all kinds of swag in here. But the first one is going to be the new Knife Brotherhood decals we got in the mail yesterday. Um, next, Randy. yes, thank you very much, Randy. The Knife Brotherhood bead by RDS Wood Turing and Acrylics, a spoon hand carved by no other than Georgia Adventure. That's called a kayak spoon, kayak spoon, and it comes in. I love these little canvas bags you put in here. Um, they're it's real classy, honestly. I like it. Now, this one, man, this is going to be a sweet one. This pen RDS made. That's a whole law of America right there, boys. Yeah. Yep. That's nice. Nice. We got a knife donated by J.O. Ventures. Ozark Trail. Little pocket mm. clip knife. Little uh, flipper. Liner lock. So Then we have a sheath. A slip with a belt loop on it. It was donated by Kent. I'm going to pull this out of the bag. It's a nice this, sheath. Very nice This was sheath. donated by Kent Smith a long time ago, but we kind of held on to it. That's pretty. But you know, like Kent, that. Kent does like a lot that. of great work, man. He does. He's a good guy, man. I met him. Yeah. He's, he's a and, good guy. And look at this. A little driver set. You know. There you go. Throw it in. Yeah. I think I was donated by Philip uh, W. Philip W. Yep. That's, yeah. that's so, guys, uh, that's the first package. A lot of good stuff tonight. Um, so Kevin, I'll let you take over the reins. I'll grab me a piece of paper, and you can, you yeah. and Randy can. Uh, All right, do yeah, the so, business. All right, Randy. Uh, so oh, a number of pen. pen and paper. Yep, I got you. And guys, I'm just going to remind you: just pick one, one to a hundred. One to a hundred, please. Yes. Okay. Yep. And guys, just one number. Um, you know, you can't pick five or seven numbers; just one number. Um. <laughs> but we'll get this uh we'll get this rolling here guys it's a good package you guys have seen it it's uh, a great package it's a great package and actually uh jason beecher he just said awesome package you got it randy i got it all right i'm gonna put start here in the comments guys uh and just uh again just one number uh from one to a hundred and you guys are off to the races. So while we're waiting on that, Randy, you got another heater right there you can throw at us? Oh, I got a bunch of them, man. Oh, I got this. I got this little trapper here, mini trapper. I've had for a while. Well, I actually have had it for years. And it's a, it's a uh, it's a wal a walnut that's made in sixteen, and it's a walnut bone, and it's got the little. And I think they call this shield a. Uh, I think this is a type of a bow tie. I may be wrong. I've got all the shields written down. Uh, you can see it's got the crimping or engraving or whatever on the bolsters on both ends. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, just a mini trapper. And, and the first case knife I ever bought and carried was a mini trapper. And I still got it. Of course, the blade's a little wobbly because I, I used it kind of hard. Uh, and that's been back. That was back in the early 80s. That was back before I got married. And That was and your first case knife? Not this one, but the, the pattern. The I got the, that, I got I actually got that knife out. It's out in my shop. But That's what I – okay, gotcha. Yeah, I've always liked the mini trappers. I got a few of them. Uh, I got another one here. got this red bone. I ain't had this one long, but uh, – Got that shield. 
I've heard people call this the bat shield, but it's actually a, I'm trying to think what they call it. Uh, I know some of the guys know, but I got it in my little book. It's a, uh, ah, I can't remember what they call it, but you know, somebody help us out in the chats. Yeah, they may, somebody may say, uh, but I've heard people call it the bat shield, but it's not the base, not a bat shield. They don't, yeah, coat of arms, coat of arms shield. Yep, Baxter got it. Yeah, coat of arms. I knew it, I just couldn't spit it out. Now, talk about a guy whose case collection is exploding. Baxter and Kevin both have Mm -hmm. just. The, you guys, both of your case collections have just skyrocketed lately, Kevin. You and Baxter both, and it's great to see. I really like it, man. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it is. It's you know, fun. and I, I I hear a lot of people talk about case knives. Or, you know, yeah, and you get one that's blade might not be centered all the way, or it might have a gap. You know, and and you know, and and and, and I agree with them. You know, case needs to you know do a little better, but still, all in all. You know they make a they make a beautiful knife, a great using knife. Uh, I've carried them for years. This this one right here, and I think I might have showed this last time, but I actually had to send this one back because when you would when you would hit the thumb tab, it wouldn't open. So now see it opens. Ooh, sister, yeah. yeah. You better that be out of the way. Cool. See, I could I could not get it open. It would not open. I mean, I would put a big indention in my thumb trying to open it and i kept when i was at blade show i took it and the guy told me at the case booth he said send it back they'll fix it and i let him try and he couldn't open it either so like hey, I said, there you go now it opens so uh pretty cool guys, knife it's got the red and black mccord on it you know it's a good carry knife it is but yeah you know and, and i understand things are things that are handmade you know, don't they don't they're not always perfect, you know, and, and I hear people which I got a couple GECs, you know, and but I you know, I like the GECs, but you're talking about a sixty, seventy, eighty dollar knife compared to a two, right. three hundred dollar knife, you know. So and like I said, I love the GECs. I'm trading for a guy right now with uh one Miss Miss uh, uh Erica sent me that stag, so I told a guy I wasn't going to trade because she gave it to me. She told him, she said, tell him he can trade if he wants to. So he's sending me one just like it, but it's got red bone and a different shield. So, you know, no biggie. But, uh, you know, I like a GEC. I'm not going to knock them because they're, they're nice knives, but I'm still, you know, case guy, you know, and a buck guy. I got to throw a stop here in the comment real quick, Randy. I'm sorry. All right. Just, just I got to put that in there. Um, Case, this you know what it is, Randy. Real quick is yeah, you you find those little bit of gaps in this and that, right? But yeah. it's okay, once in a while, yeah. it's not yeah. big. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, guys, I have stop here in the comments, and Randy, what do you, what do you have for a number between one and a hundred? One and a hundred. Sixty. Sixty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good number. That was my football number. There you go. That was, that was Tommy Nobis's number. I'd seen a 61 down here. So, oh, Watch City Knives got 60 on the dot. Oh, cool. Sean. He wins almost <laughs> every live. Pepper Dingo got 61. <laughs> Terry's Knives and Man Stuff, he always gets, he always picks 64. And so that's let's keep doing that I see. And Watch City, oh, yeah, yep. Yep, so Watch City Knives was six. And Watch City won last week, and he wins a lot, man. He's good at this game. <laughs> he is. Yeah, I don't think he won last week. He uh he won two weeks ago, I believe he won. Two weeks oh, he ago. won the big month-long giveaway that yeah, Randy right. Randy donated the – uh you donated the yellow saw Bobby. buster mm-hmm. that we paired with a slip, I believe, from Kent. Yep. So I've got Sean's information. So I, I don't need to worry about getting the address from him or anything. Congrats, Sean. All right. Congratulations, Sean. Yep. Congratulations, Congrats, brother. brother. Um, so let's you want me to show package two, Kevin? Yeah, please. Can yeah. they handle it? Are they gonna be able to handle I, it? I don't know, guys, if you're gonna be able to handle this package or not. Another swag pack. 
Um, a bunch of – I don't want to show every decal, but you got coasters in here, decals. I even got some little two-inch decals for myself that are good for hard hats, you know, if you want to mm. put them on your hard hat. But, but Randy, you had sent something yesterday, but I had kept something of yours back because I knew we were going to have you on. You sent this a few months ago, this slip. Yeah. So I held that for this giveaway tonight. I even sent you a message stating that. I was like, hey, mm -hmm. I held back a slip of yours. Yeah. Beautiful. Slip. So we got this one. Yeah. And then nice. uh, Linda, of course. Now, I'm not going to give you credit for this. I'm going to give Linda credit for it. Yeah, she's sure over here smiling. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Wow, she does and some of course, she does great, great stuff. That's great work. She does. Yep. Display this proudly. And if you guys ever see any of my shorts that I'm – well, I ain't going to say where I'm at, but it's usually a lunchbox involved. This uh, One of these decals is on the front of my lunchbox. You know that why I that star is pink, my... right? You know why yeah, that I star is pink on there? Because yeah. pink's her favorite color. Yep. So I'm trying to find pink case knives. <laughs> well, Linda, if you can hear me, great work. You do a great, great work. Yes. You hear? Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah, not afraid to have smiling. that on my I'm not afraid to have that stuff on my lunchbox. We got a, a headlamp and it does work because every time I turn it on, it about blinds me. Doo -doo -doo. We have this carrying case that was sent by Frank Keller a long time ago. But inside, I put another knife from JO Ventures in there. Another Ozark Trail. It's just a folder. Just a little uh, back lock folder, but also, this is a cool little pouch. I really like this. The sharpening rod that was sent by Radio Geek Blades, I believe. Yep. So I just yep. I threw those two things in there, and I'm thinking, you know, that's a cool little pouch, man. It's even got like a you could a Molly, what is that called, Molly strap or whatever. Now we also we got one thing left. And the people are going to go ape crazy over this one. Yep. I don't want to use the other term. Because we got the ED, or, or your design of the Knife Brotherhood on an RDS wood turning in acrylics pen. And that pen is awesome, guys. That's, a, that's, a, that's a great pen. You yes, seen the, he's got the little small one in, in those that he makes. Yep. Small bullet and pens. Yes, he had right. sent some just plain beads. So I threw one of those in this box as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. And also in all my videos lately, I've been uh, been really promoting his stuff on a lot of my videos. I've been yeah. showing the pen and his business card and stuff like that. He's a nice guy, man. Like I said, I've been kind of dealing with him a little bit over the years, and you know, he's talking to him and all, and he's he's you know he's really he's really. Does great. I mean, I like his stuff. To be honest yeah. with you, I think it's neat, man. I got one of his that cup he sent me. I like the fell out on the floor. I'm like, man, that thing is nice, yeah, and, it, nice. and it's everything on it looks good. You know, I had him make one for my mother for her birthday. Oh, cool! So I've got it here. It's going out yeah. with this stuff uh, Monday yeah. or Tuesday. It's and her nice, birthday until the 27th, but I don't sit on stuff. I like to get it out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I am. You might have to. I was worried. I was worried about. I, I told my. I told Miss Linda. I said, I hope, man. I hope. I hope that stuff don't get missing like like the other ones. Last two things we've shipped. You know, yeah, we got here. I have a lot of luck with the postal service here where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Ours is good here, but I. Where did those go? Tennessee. Yeah, and it, it was in a. It, and, and we still following it, but I went ahead and sent the guy another slip. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I don't want a customer upset with me, you know. You know, no, I'm going gonna, gonna to say this as a rule because these packages are so nice. Sean, you can play, but you got a proxy for somebody. How's that sound? Yeah. Because these yeah. are two killer packages. I can't have both these going to the same person. So, Sean, you play, but you proxy somebody. How does that sound? That sounds fair. That does sound fair. That's fair. Yes, I think does. that's fair because that first package is pretty killer. Yeah, we gotta we gotta have it going to uh, let let someone else get a chance as well. So, Randy, if you want to do another number between one and one hundred, okay. Let me find my pen. There it is. He said that's completely understandable. <laughs> yeah, he know he understands. Yeah, that. he does. Miss cool. Linda, Miss Linda's gonna pick this one. 
And don't forget to put madness in the chat for this big old look at this package. Hey, I was just saying you're gonna need shoe boxes to mail these out, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. But I've got a and I've got your package going out, and I've got a package to somebody else. Oh, a gift I bought for that one individual who watches our stuff. Yes. I bought yep. him something. Yep. That's and right. Then mom's Christmas gift. So yeah, you well, yeah. Um you know Randy, is that with the number there? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. ready. I'm ready. I'm sorry. I got okay. it. So this is Linda's number. Linda, well, Linda picked. I'll let her pick. Got it. You Linda got it. it. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put start here in the comments, guys. And uh you guys are already you're off to the races. Um yeah, and, and I just wanted to say something real quick while they're putting in numbers. You know, guys, this is uh sending out these packages. I don't I, I'm not sending them out, guys, right? Jerry's sending those packages out. You know, all this stuff goes to his house and, and he sends that stuff out. It's a lot. It's a lot to do um to between mm -hmm. work, work and trying to get yeah. these packages out, guys. So I just wanna I really myself, I just wanna say I, I appreciate him so much. You think about trying to get to work and trying to get these packages mailed out. And this is there's numerous packages. It's not it's not one package, it's two giveaways per per live and then other things that he's mailing and this and that. So it's yeah. a lot of work, guys. But thank you, Jerry, for what you do, brother. I appreciate yep. the shout out, brother. Yep. You got yep. it, man. Well, hell, Randy, you know. Package of yeah, this, it's not worth it, man. We mailed five. There. We mailed five what? Friday. We we carried five over and I've got I've got three sitting here now. Of course, one of them is just an envelope with a sticker in it. But yeah, we got them. We got them sitting here, and, and Linda does that for me. You know, now yeah. Saturday or Friday, I took them in, give her a break, but she takes them to work, and mails them. So she's a I big part of what I do. Yeah. I I do it for Sarah because I uh I just go at my lunch break at work. I got a post office where my knife seller he uses. It. It's right by his house, old Lee. Mm -hmm. And I'll run into him once in a while down there, but uh, it's kind of out of, you know, because I work in a pretty busy area. So I got, I drive to a town, not far away, but where it's not so hustle bustle. Mm -hmm. And I can get in there and kind of relax. And um, Michael Upchurch, I see that you're saying. Uh, yeah, you just pick one number, man. You, you can't pick. pick one, buddy. So you already had 66. It doesn't matter if someone else took it. If someone else took it, we'll do a knife off at the end. Yeah. <laughs> So don't, don't, don't stress it. I was going to show, oh, Randy, you were talking about Western knives. Yep. I got this uh, W49 in a trade from Jesse McJames. Mm. I didn't know Western made one that big. 68 through 73. They were made for war. Um, this is a Vietnam era. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. That yeah. is cool. That's, that's a horse, man. I've any got, other I've, brand? Any I've other brand? I would have bought it. They're, they're nice, man. They're I, yeah. I think that's a, a brand that unfortunately went out of business, but they made great. I've got my sheath knife somewhere out there. I've got to find it. I hadn't found it since I moved, but I'm sure it's in one one or two of the boxes I had none. But it, it's one my daddy bought me. And it's just a it's just a skinning knife, but it's 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 a nice it's a nice one, you know. I carried it for years. Yeah, any other brand I wouldn't have bought it. I'm not into big knives, but with it being a Western, I'm kind of yeah. collecting those. Yeah. Western and Case is really all I'm after now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got enough bucks, but I'll still pick up a buck. I bought a buck the other day, but uh, yeah. if they're the right price or whatever, you got to grab them. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. I'm going to put stop here in the comments, guys. Um, I see everyone has their number in. And what did Miss Linda pick for a number, Randy? 54. Seven. 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 Okay. Y'all went low. I like it. I like it. Okay. So number seven. I see a three already, but let's keep going up. Okay. We have an eight. Philip W. Oh, with an eight. Philip W. Yeah. And Lewis. And Lewis with a six. Ooh, Philip W. and Lewis. I'm writing those down, so I'm not ignoring anything. Philip W. and Lewis. So Philip, I think that, those are it. That's that's the closest. Everyone else went high. Yeah. Mm. So uh, Linda needs to pick a number between one and ten. It doesn't matter if you go over. Yep. It's just the closest. Just the closest. So we're done. Yeah. 
that's the uh that's the two there okay we got it you got a number already randy i got it yeah that was quick all right so, so I'll number between one and ten lewis and uh philip w just between lewis and philip i'm gonna put start and you guys uh if you two could just pick a number philip has one up yeah philip lewis i just need a number or actually, Linda needs a number. <laughs> so we got one from Philip. Doug. We got the number from Philip. We're just waiting on one number. Lewis. Jesse. Lewis at 10. Okay, we got Lewis at 10 and Philip W at 6. What was the number? Three. Three. Philip Nail or hard. W you got it. Congratulations, Philip. Congratulations, brother. Dale learn hard, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Rubin's yeah. racing. Yeah. Uh I hadn't watched it since he got killed. That's you know what? That's I I watched that race. That was so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I watched that race. I was actually at my uh I was up in, in New Hampshire at my grandfather's house with my uncle and aunt. Mm. I and I, I watched that race, yep. Who, yep, they had Phillip, a, they I was just gonna say I got Phillips address, I believe. So I won't need that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you guys off. That's my bad. That's I'm awesome. sorry. Didn't yeah. they have a driver from New Hampshire uh, back then? They may have. They may have. Yeah. I think who it who it was. That uh, was it was years ago. I mean, we're yeah. talking fucking so long ago. But yeah, they may have Randy. They may have. Actually, I've got a, I've got a, oh, I've got Phillips. I've got his address right here. All right, cool, cool deal, man. Congratulations to the, to, so congratulations to Sean. Congratulations to Philip. And again, thank you to everybody that donated, but I just wanted to say that. Congratulations to you guys. And we're hoping um, we get, we'll have some news about the schedule or what we're doing by Wednesday, I think. I think that's mine and Kevin's goal. Yeah. Um, yep. We're, but guys, we're working, you know, we're trying and it just, it's, it's life, man. I'm sorry, right. but, but we are doing the same time and it's a show with just me and Kevin next Sunday. Cause we're doing the, uh, we're doing, we usually, when we do these, we don't have guests because, uh, you know, it takes a while and everything. Right. So. Yep. I think, I think everybody will, will, will support y'all. Oh yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think everybody will support you now. You know, they may not can be it ever one, but I think people will, I think people are still, you know, it's a good community. Yeah, it is. It is. We got to keep it going, you know? Yep. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're over here, we're at one thirty-seven. I want to say, uh, Randy, Georgia adventure. It, it's great having you on here. It's great. I appreciate having you it. On. I really you are, you, you are, you really are, whether you want to believe it, you're a humble guy, but you want to want to believe it or not, but you are huge in this community. Um, I appreciate you. Yeah. You do so much for this community. You and Linda, we're sitting right beside you. Thank you both. Yeah. Thank you both. She's um, mean. She's mean. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Not really. I don't think so. She puts <laughs> up with me. She should get a blue ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, to you, Randy and and Linda. And uh, is there anything you want to throw out there, Randy, before we go? Well, just you know, just tell everybody that. You know, we need to, you know, support the knife talk and whether it moves to, to Monday or Thursday or whatever, because I've been where Boston's at. So I know how your schedule, we're picking your child up and getting them back home on time. And I don't know, you know, I know my ex-wife was a little tough to deal with. So I got her there early, you know, and then, but if you got a good ex-wife, then, you know, it's not as hard on you, but you, you know, exactly. just you know, he. You know, it's just one of them things you gotta you gotta contend with, and it's important. So, but we're we're gonna support y'all. I mean, everybody's gonna support you. So, you know, y'all just figure it out, and it's y'all show, and y'all figure it out, and then we'll be there. You know, we appreciate that. We yeah. really do. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I'm gonna be retired, so I'm here, man. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to thank Linda because I know what it takes for someone who's 
in her shoes putting this stuff together and and shipping it out because I got one that's doing it in the other room yep. right now. Yeah, she's got a drill press, a Dremel, and a hammer <laughs> in there just going to town because the guys at work got issued new flashlights. Uh oh, and they all wanted new leather flashlight holsters. Um, so she is busy to say the least with those. Yep, and it's a big shop. So yep. She, she but I want to thank her. And I want to thank fantastic. you. Yeah, thank you. She appreciates it. And yeah, yeah. Um, if you haven't seen uh, what she did for eight six five, she made eight six five a kind of a killer one. She's trying to really. Uh, she loves the art side of it, so she really wanted to practice. And I, she said, "Who could I do one for that would just really like something like that?" And I just said, "Hey, eight six five. I mean, the guy works swing shifts. He coaches baseball, mm -hmm. and he's got four children." Now that's yep. a busy, busy man. Mm -hmm. I said I think he would greatly appreciate that. And my God, she was in there just hammering away. That that yeah. rose she made, yeah. Linda, is un, it, it is. I've never seen anything like it. It's unbelievable. And that that right there, buddy, that that exceeds my talent. Yeah. I mean, she, she is. is. She that's jam up. <laughs> jam it is. Up. <laughs> I mean, it's jam up. That's the southern term. Jam yeah, up. Speaking of jam up, she's doing something for him right now. Yeah, it is. It's bad to the bone, man. I mean, she's got it hung on her. So we get in the car going somewhere, and there's Sarah's Rose. I mean, it's yeah. it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm like, yeah. good God, she got to have some patience. He's good <laughs> at it. I will probably done slung it across the room. Well, I also want to uh, promote. I, I don't know if there's a Knife Brotherhood Facebook page as well, uh, that may or may not have been created by one of the, us three. I don't know. It wasn't me. No, it was me. Kevin don't even have Facebook. So. Yep, yep. It had to have been ready. Yep. It was <laughs> me. Yeah. So if you guys want to check that out, there's uh, always some good stuff and uh, a lot of cross-posting because that's the easiest to do. You know, you post something on IG and cross-post it there or whatever. But mm -hmm. Again, Randy, I want to thank you so much for your support and coming on the show appreciate and just being yep. just a great supporter, man. Yep. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all just keep All digging, right. and, and like I said, we'll support you. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All right, Have guys. With that, I think we're out, fellas. Be safe.